Hey guys, welcome back to Tammy Legends and once again thank you for stopping by. So just a quick video today, just really showing this kit off. Um, you may see me pull it out of the box in a, in a care package donation from my good friend Keith or now better known as IC Icons, check his channel out if you haven't already. Um, yeah, he bought this kit for me from the um, Larry auction. Um, if you don't know, it was a massive auction that unfortunately Larry passed away and left a, a huge collection of RC. And um, yeah, there was a massive auction. And uh, Keith actually had a view to get me two kits from it, which I wasn't aware of at the time. So we got the um, Lancia Delta Integrale on the TAO one brand new in box kit, 30 years old. And this, now, Keith wants to see me paint this. So that tells me that this is a very difficult shell to paint. I've not looked at it yet. So that's kind of the purpose for me in this video. I want to see what's involved. Now, just quickly, if you watch to the end of this video, I'm going to show you the same car that somebody else has done. I was going to say non-box art. It's in non-box art colours, but it's box art design, and it'll blow you away. So stay tuned to that at the end of the video. Um, but back onto this. So this is basically what sort of Tammy you do, but it's, it's, it's not, I was going to say it's a replica of the original car, but um, it's really not, because it's on the MO5 chassis. So the original, um, I've, I've wrote this down, so the original car, which is a VW Golf Mach 1 Group Racing 2, came out in 1981 on 58.025. So the original car was only Tammy's 25th, RC car, that's incredible, 1981. Uh, and that came on the sort of metal plate chassis that, um, that this was one of the last ones on that chassis actually, you know, the Lamborghinis and, th and the Porsches were on that chassis, you know, 58001s and things like that. Beautiful. Um, but chassis, uh, chassis, but Tamiya has never released that chassis in a re re version. And, uh, I'd like to see that, would you? Stick in the comments if you would. I understand if you're a major collector and you've got a load of the original cars, the Porsches and the Lambos, you don't want to see them re read but re reads will never be original. And a lot of people say, oh, that's the original gone down in price. It doesn't work like that. It never works like that. A re re is different from an original, so. Maybe I would speak differently if I had a brand new first 100 collection. I don't know. But to me, I don't think it really matters. But nevertheless, they brought the this version out on the MAR5 chassis, which is a 112 scale. Um, but yeah, I'd love to see those early first 100 models getting reread. There'd be slight changes to them. But um, I wonder why they don't do that. Because be, I, I'd imagine they're relatively easy to make. Uh, is, do they think they wouldn't sell? I don't know. It's interesting. Anyway, as I say, um, so this is on part number 47308, and this came out in 2016. The 47 number generally means it's kind of a limited edition, or what Tammy like to call a special project. So it basically means there's not, they're not going to be around forever. They'll, they'll only do so many builds of them, or manufacturing runs, I should say. Um, I did have a look before I made this video, I had a quick look on eBay and there was about two or three of these for sale, so it's not like it's a rare kit, um, but I, I think they are getting a little bit few and far between, if that makes sense. Um, I was going to say something else, oh, and I thought they were quite expensive as well, now I have no idea how much this kit was when it came out in 2016, but the ones on eBay now were up over 250 quid for a kit. That seems expensive to me, but maybe this has got a little bit. Maybe this is a little bit sort of more rarer than I know, because um, I don't know a great deal about this kit, if I'm honest. Um, so yeah, let's get into it and have a look at this body shell. I'm really curious. I presumed that most of it was decals. Um, so anyway, let's have a look. Right, as always, we always start with the box, but we're certainly not going to spend much time on this one. Kind of. Uh, not great box art, is it? Little uh, sticker just stuck on of the car on the sort of generic MO5 box. Yeah, not the best. Also, just should have said, it's an officially licensed VW kit, which is kind of cool. Yeah, it's a little 
plaque. Not that you'll do anything with it. Just quickly, if you don't know what the MO, MO5 chassis looks like, that's it. It's, uh, it's pretty different, hence the reason why I'm looking forward to building one. And pretty dramatic presentation, I've got to say. <laughs> wow. But one exciting thing I've seen straight away when I open box, it has a driver figure in it. That is superb. I honestly didn't know that. So we've got the driver, his helmet. Now, another fact that I had no idea. Obviously, it's a polycarbonate shell, as you can see there. But um, it has a ABS front grille to go on it. So you'd better get a lot more detail paint-wise on that. But um, yeah, super happy. I've got, just got a driver figure. I honestly didn't know that. That's that's awesome. Um, it comes with forms, form inserts. All right, let's just drag a little bit of this out. We'll probably have to drag it all out. Cut little M wheels. Now, they've got to be painted gold and silver. That's going to be a mission. Right, body shell. Oh my God, look at size of it. Let me just move that box out of the way because that's that shell's kind of cute. Wow, I'm uh, it's tiny. Oh wow, that's that was unexpected. Obviously, I knew it was 112, but uh, damn, that's cute. That's really cute. So, we've got a uh, as I say, uh, yeah, that's where the ABS grill goes on. Kind of cool. Wide arches on the Mac 1 as well. That that's that's really surprised me how small that is. They cut the arches, no, the heck. Wow, okay. Yeah, that's very cool. Okay, I've just discovered why Keith wants me to, wants to see me paint this body shell. So, that's a manual. Nothing too exciting about that. But I dug the decals out. That's all you get. That's it. That means the whole shell is done in paint. Wow. That, I expected some of the colours to be decals. That's, that shocked me. So then you get, obviously this. So I'll just cut out the body. And then it gives you your detail for your grill. How the grill bolts on. Oh my goodness, look at this. Oh dearie me. That's how you've got to paint it. I had no idea. So bottom base colour, what colours we got? PS34, which is a bright red. And then the second stripe is orange, which is PS7. Followed by the third, which is PS6 yellow. Followed by PS white, PS1 white. <clears throat> oh my word. Yep, didn't expect that. That's a nightmare. Let's have the grill fits on. And then the couple of decals that you get for it, which will bring that car alive. Wow, we have got some serious um, masking to do on this one. Wowzer. So, wow. Added bonus, it's got a driver figure. That was awesome. But that's soon been cancelled out by realising that that's all paint. Holy sugar. Wow, that's going to be a mission. So then, definitely going to be a challenge, Ash, this one. That body shell is definitely going to be a challenge for me. Uh, but one I'm looking forward to. So there's, well, this isn't even on a to-do list yet. So this is not going to happen for a long time. Um, I can't even think about starting it. I've got so many other projects on. But very cool to have an MO5 chassis in the collection. I don't have, I'm just thinking... Um, I have got one other M chassis to build, which is that Lotus. Uh, but I think that's on the new MO6 chassis. I think. I may be wrong. So quite possibly I may have an M... I always want to say MA. Yeah, might, quite possibly I'll have an M05 and an O6 chassis in the collection when they finish. So that makes it kind of cool. Um, yeah. It's going to be cool. Oh, so as I, as I promised... So I'm just going to give a shout out now to a gentleman on our Facebook group and he's called Ollie. He does amazing builds and he built this one. 
as soon as I saw these pictures, I was like, that is absolutely incredible. So obviously all he's done is change the paint to the blues instead of the orange and whites and yellow. But oh my God, how good does that look in blue? And I must admit, I'd, I'd seen those pictures before I knew I was getting this kit. And then when this kit arrived, I was like, I might have to copy that because that looks sensational. But now I've done a little bit more research, <clears throat> excuse me, done a little bit more research on this kit and which obviously took me to the original kit. I think this has to be a total box art kit because the as a homage, homage to the original one in 81. So that'll be kind of cool. Um, so yeah, can't wait. But I just thought I wanted to show you and more so have a look at that body shell and the decals and what's involved in the paint. So Keith, if you're watching, massive thank you, my friend. This is another car that I didn't know I wanted. <laughs> Seems to be a lot of those. Um, again, if you've not checked out Keith's channel, RC Icons, I don't know, really suggest you do he's, he's knocking out some fantastic content now um and as always to you guys and girls thanks so much for watching it's it, it's always massively appreciated and i don't take anything for granted i really appreciate it so that's it so i'll end by saying happy i see you.